Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. It is believed that Consuela Isnaga was born in 1853 on Ravenswood Plantation in Concordia Parish, Louisiana, a large tract of land that bordered Lake St. John. Consuelo's mother, Ellen, had inherited Ravenswood from her father, Steamboat Captain Samuel Clement. Consuelo's father, Antonio, a diplomat, was from an old Cuban family who owned large plantations and sugar mills near Trinidad, Cuba. After the Civil War, the Isnagas were prominent members of New York society, dividing their time between homes in Manhattan and Newport, Rhode Island. In 1876, Consuelo married George Montague, Viscount Mandeville, who would become the eighth Duke of Manchester. Consuelo became one of the first American heiresses to provide influx of much-needed Yankee funds into the ancient yet cash-strapped aristocratic houses. Consuelo caused a stir in London society for her uninhibited nature and for her fondness in playing the banjo. She became a favorite and confidant of King Edward VII and used her social connections to become a marriage broker for wealthy Americans. The Montague's marriage, however, proved a disaster and the couple later divorced. In January 1901, Consuelo's son, who had succeeded to the title of Duke of Manchester, arrived in Natchez with his bride, Helen Zimmerman, another American heiress. The couple was met at the train station by the Duke's grandmother, Ellen Isnaga, and stayed at the Natchez Hotel. Later, the Duke and Duchess rented Concord, hosting one of the last great parties there before the house burned. The celebrated writer, Edith Wharton, based the character of Conchita Clausen on Consuela Isnaga in her last unfinished novel, The Buccaneers. Consuela Isnaga, Dowager Duchess of Manchester, died on this day, November the 20th, in 1909. I'm Jan Scarborough, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.